All right, guys. So that's what I've got for that. Now let's get into Tarot Tuesday. Who's ready for Tarot Tuesday? Now for this one, I wanted to do, we're not just going to talk about Tarot. So when we do Tarot Tuesday, we talk about life themes and I try to give sage advice. And I've been getting this question a lot lately. I got it in my local Zoom yesterday and I got, got this YouTube comment um, last week, not even last week, the other day. From Tom J. Tom J. said, can you help me with side hustle ideas? Better yet, what hustles like Uber, what we can, what we can do for passive income? And I wanted to talk about this because this is a question that is similar to a question I received in my locals community Zoom yesterday, which is how do you find your passion? How do you know what your passion and your purpose is in life? How do you find your life purpose? That is that is very similar to doing like a side hustle. Like a side hustle, you can do something like Uber Eats or something or just Uber or Lyft or whatever for a side hustle. That's fine. But when I say side hustle, what I mean is that you start to build a business, a way to make money, a way to make income that is not reliant on any one employer. And there are a million ways that you can do that. So I built my side hustle, which is my organizational psychology practice. I built that while I was working full time and frankly, finishing my dissertation. So I like there's time is not an excuse for any of this stuff. And I think that it is really, really important for every person now more than ever. I built my side hustle 10 years ago. OK, now more than ever, it is extremely important for people to have other sources of income. And it's not just about money. It's also about building up a life in which you can do things that make you happy. Is there any better way to go through life than to be able to make money and support yourself and pay your bills by doing things that you would do if you could do them for free? By doing things that just feed your soul, by doing things that make you want to show up in the world every single day. Dragon Water says, is there a way to keep the tower card away in Joshua's readings? Well, I actually, it's funny you say that because I actually do. The tower card was on the top of my deck. That's, an, that's not a good card right there. And so the advice I give to people that want to find their purpose or create a side hustle is the very first thing you need to do is you need to figure out what you're passionate about. What would you spend all your time doing if you could do anything in the world and make money from it? Because the fact of the matter is that you can make money doing almost anything. You really can. Now, some things are easier to make money with than others, but that doesn't mean you can't make money doing something. So the first thing you need to do if you want to try to find your purpose is that you need to just look inside yourself and say, what makes me happy? What do I feel good doing? What would I do every single day, even if I wasn't getting paid for it? What would I do if I was independently wealthy and I could spend my time doing whatever I wanted to do? What would I do then? And chances are, to be quite frank, you already know what that thing is. Chances are you already have some understanding of what you could do if you could do anything. And then once you have that thing, you have to start to work back, okay? So building a business is, is a matter of taking it an inch at a time. The first thing you wanna do if you're looking for your purpose or your passion and you're trying to build a business or a side hustle out of it is that you need to identify ways in which you can make money doing the thing that you love to do. I guarantee you, that there is someone in the world who has made money doing what you want to do. Your first step is you got to find that person. Find those people who have already been able to build successful businesses. Are they, you know, I know, I know a guy, I write about this in my first book. I know a guy who went from working in the corporate world to being a window washer. He had a perfectly respectable job in the corporate world, and then he became a window washer. And he became a window washer because he liked being outside. He liked rappelling down tall buildings. He didn't like getting dressed up in a suit and tie every day and going to work. He wanted to do something that was different. Now, didn't make a whole ton of money as a window washer, but, you know, made enough. And then he actually ended up starting his own window washing business. 
So that takes him to the next level there. Yeah, I mean, listen. James Lindsay makes money literally fighting the woke. James Lindsay figured out a way to make money reading academic literature to everyone and interpreting it. You can make money doing anything. You really can. Fish Attic 2 says, I just asked the cards about Carlin and her COVID and drew the Nine of Swords. Well, it's in... Oh, let me pull up the Nine of Swords. Oh, Fish Addict. That's pretty dead on, actually. Let me pull up the Nine of Swords real quick. It's going to be in the back of the deck. I want to show people what you're talking about. And it's, I was actually... It's funny you bring that up because I was actually thinking about doing this card today. But that is exactly the reason I have effing COVID. I'm going to tell you why. When I get the card... It's going to be at the back of the deck. I know it gonna be the very last card nine of swords there it is nine of swords is a card where someone's sitting up in bed and they look like they're in anguish they look like they just woke up from a nightmare they're experiencing mental pain mental anguish i think i got covid because i'm fucking pissed off i'm pissed off in many things i'm trying not to bring it into my work but I got pissed. I got really, really pissed off at that group of trolling bullies that I have to deal with all day, every day. And particularly the person who's running around lying to my community members and showing them information out of context to try to turn them against me. I got really effing pissed. And so I got sick because what goes on in our head when we have days that are like this? Hang on, let me. I'll bring myself big like this. When we have days that are like this, when we get angry and we hold on to that anger, guys, what hope goes on in our head feeds into our body. Yeah. That's what it means. Holy shit, I don't believe in this tarot BS, and that's what it means. That's what it means. I 100% believe you pulled that card for a reason, man. I absolutely, I had this conversation with Joshua yesterday. I think that I got sick because I was, I was pissed. And the only reason I'm going to get better is if I stop being pissed. And so I'm working on that. I'm working on forgiving people that did me dirty after I supported them. But whatever. We're not going to talk about that right now. What we're going to talk about is this. Actually, you know, it's actually kind of similar to this, though. So you find your you 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 figure out what you're passionate about. You figure out what makes you feel good. You figure out what you want to go after. You find other people who have monetized that thing before. You see how they did it. And then you slowly start to build. See, the thing about side hustles is that is that people think that they need to have a whole that a whole big business is going to appear overnight. That's not going to work. That's not how it works, especially not when you're doing it on the side. Right? You build it in little pieces. Figure out one thing you can do to monetize what you're passionate about. Just one thing. It doesn't need to be a lot of money. We're not talking about like you're not you're not at the point yet where you're like, oh, I'm gonna replace my entire income. No, 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 no. Just bring in a little bit of money. Can you teach people how to do the thing you love? If you're a knitter, let's say, can you teach people how to knit? How much can you charge for that? Can you start organizing some classes? Can you sell yarn? Can you bring in income that way? If you, what are some other things that you guys might want to do? Put some ideas in the chat. Let's do a little bit of a brainstorm. Like you can, if you love dogs, can you, can you be a dog walker? Can you make money that way? If you love books, can you put together groups that maybe people chip it, create your own locals that's all about books and people pay five bucks to join your locals every month and you organize group discussions about books and you make people feel welcome and you run the community and stuff like that and that's why people pay the five dollars <coughs> you can start a youtube channel you know you can make money that way writing children's books awesome human wants to write children's books well guess what like just start just start writing just start. The big thing with books is you just need to, like, if you want to write a book, just start writing a book. Start building a platform to start writing on the internet. Maybe you don't bring in money right away for that writing, but just start writing to start building a platform because when publishers are looking for books to publish, they're going to look at your platform. But you can get, there's so many publishers out there, you can get books published. Fitness. Fitness. 
Like, because, like, can you, can you train people? Can you get a training certification? Can you take on clients? Can you help become a coach? Can you be a coach? Can you motivate people? Can you teach people how to do what you know how to do? Like coaching, oh my God, you can make so much money from coaching. Coaching is incredibly lucrative when you get into it. A lot of people think it's a scam and there are scam coaches out there, that's for sure. But there are also a lot of really effective co coaches out there. Global politics, just start writing about global politics on the, start a sub stack, man. Start a sub stack. Just start putting your thoughts out there on the internet. Make a little bit at a time, maybe five bucks a month for people who want to support your sub stack. There's so much stuff you can do. Yeah, have local artisans, you know, have, having local artisans make your merch, get a coffee roaster line up. Yeah. Allow yourself to brainstorm with different ways you can make money. Dream analysis. You can help people interpret their dreams. Sid, I get questions about dreams all the time. And I'm like, I don't do dream analysis. I don't even re remember my dreams on like most nights. I don't even remember my dreams. So I don't do that, but I'd love to refer them to you. And so don't, don't allow, don't start restricting yourself when you're trying to come up with ways to monetize your passion. Just throw stuff out there and start to make a little bit of money. And then once you start to make a little bit of money, you start to make more. When I first started my business, my consulting business started so haphazardly. It basically started with me writing on the internet and then people would email me things and they'd be like, Carlin, do you do this sort of work? And I would say, yes, I do. Even though I had no effing idea what I was doing, but I figured it out. You just have to do it. Figuring out how to do it is figuring out what to do is the easiest thing. The hardest thing is putting your, yourself out there to do it. The hardest thing is getting started. Okay. And it's the getting started that holds most people back because, and this is going to get into Tarot Tuesday now. I'm going to go big again. Because oftentimes when people are hesitant to follow their dreams, it has to do with being like this card right here. People will put all sorts of obstacles in their own way when they don't want to follow their dreams. What do you think this card means? I know some of my locals members know the answer to this. What do you think this card means? What is what what's going on in this card? We got some people walking through the snow. They're looking rather destitute. This is this is a card about self-worth. Okay? This is a card about lack. This is a card about, it's not precisely fear of failure. There's actually a different card that's fear of failure. Maybe we'll look at that. Um, this is the card that's going to prevent people from getting started. Fear of failure Fear of failure tends to come later in the process. Let me see if I can find the fear of failure card real quick. It won't be real quick because it'll be at the back of the deck. But we're going to find it anyway. Oh, no, it wasn't. It's was the front of the deck. This is the fear of failure card. This is the fear of failure card because this guy's already got his garden planted. Anytime you see pentacles, that's about like earthly things. This guy's got his garden planted and this guy's looking at his garden and he's done all this work and he's done all this prep and he's like, is the garden going to grow? All he has to do is leave it alone. He doesn't have to do anything else. But he's afraid the garden's not going to grow. And he's worrying about the garden not growing. Now the garden's going to grow. It's going to be fine. But that's the fear of failure card. So, but this is the card that I think of when I think of people just like not following their passion. And the reason I like this card for that is because look at what we see here. We see two people. It's a little bit blurry. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on them. Focus. Focus. Sorry if that felt like I just hit you. It's not focusing. Dang it. Let me, okay, whatever. You guys can kind of see. So we got two people. Oh, there it goes. Two people that are walking through the snow, but what are they doing? They're walking by a church. There's a refuge they can go in. This is about making choices to take care of yourself. This is about making choices to, to see yourself as a valuable person in the world. This is about making choices to do what it is necessary to feel good. These people feel really shitty because they're out in the snow walking in the cold. They could go into the church at any moment. They're literally walking by the church. They could go in. It's right there. 
We don't even know if they see it. But they can make that choice. And it's in knowing that you have a choice. You always have a choice. You always have a choice to pursue your dreams. You always have a choice to try something new. You always have a choice to do things differently. Let's read a proper, actually, not that. I need to share my screen again. Hang on. Different screen. Let's read a, a proper interpretation of this card by a professional. That is not me. We're looking up uh, Biddy Tarot, which I think is actually, they. I think she does a really good job, actually. So the Five of Pentacles is a card of financial loss and poverty. They hit hard times, especially when it comes to work, career, finances, material possessions. You may have recently lost your job, your home, your financial security. You no longer feel safe. It has been stripped away. In times of need, the Five of Pentacles indicates that you feel isolated and alone. Just like the two people in the card, you feel as though you've been left out in the cold. You may wonder, why is no one coming to help me? It may appear as if no one cares. However, since the windows in the church are lit up, help is nearby. But you're too focused on your own problems to notice. You may be waiting for someone to come and help you when really you need to be proactive and ask for help. You need to swallow your pride and let go of your fear of rejection and reach out. People are here to support you. Find them and let them know you need them. Dragonwater says, never tell yourself you don't have a choice or someone forced you to do something. That is exactly correct, Dragonwater. If we're talking about these guys right here, no one is forcing them to stay outside. The help is there. And when you're talking about launching a side hustle or pursuing your purpose in that way, you have to know there are absolutely people who will support you. There are always people who will support you. And sometimes it'll come from the weirdest places. But you have to ask for that. You have to put yourself out there. I know for me, when I started my side hustle and when I, and this was before all this YouTube stuff, I've gotten way more used to it since then. But like back in the day, Joshua used to have to yell at me to do basic sales. He really did. He was like, Carlin, you're never going to make sales if you don't reach out and tell people what you do. I was like, that's probably true, but I don't want to. I hate doing I hate doing sales and pitching things to this day. I hate it. I hate it more than I can tell you. If one of the reasons that you're not following your passion is that you hate doing sales, you are in good company. No one likes sales. Right? But the act of reaching out to people, even if it's strangers, to say, I'm doing this thing and I think it's valuable. Do you want to buy the thing I'm selling? That's putting yourself out there. That That's asking for help. That's showing your value to the world. These people do not think that they have value. The reason they're not going into the church is because they do not believe that they are worthy of help. You have to allow yourself to believe that what you're offering is good. And you know that if someone else has monetized in the same way before, you know there's an audience for it. You know there's a market for it. And you're going to get told no. You will get told no, but sometimes you're going to get told yes. There is not any, any sort of business in the world that gets told yes 100% of the time. Just doesn't work that way. Lisa, watched your debate with Shu. Oh my God, that was so old. Curious to know if as a libertarian, you support UBI. I like entrepreneurship, but still need people to farm food, build houses, fix teeth, cut hair, etc. I have mixed feelings about this. I think I used to support it more than I do now. And I supported it. I, I liked the idea of it because I do think it would, well, I thought it would facilitate entrepreneurship. But when we went through COVID and people were getting enhanced unemployment benefits for months on end, and then they didn't do anything, they didn't create businesses, they didn't do anything with their extra time, I was like, mm, maybe I don't so much support it anymore because I like the idea of it. I just don't think it worked out well in practice. Because, I mean, that's how I, I view those enhanced unemployment benefits, right? It's kind of It was kind of a little bit like a UBI. So I don't know. That's where I'm at right now. I don't know if my position changed. I'm sure it changed since then because it's been so long. 
But so if you're going to start your side hustle, the fr- like you need to make sure that you know that you are worth it. Let's continue reading this article. At times, the Five of Pentacles highlights a lack mindset. You are sabotaging your ability to create abundance because you only focus on what you lack. Oh, this is so important. All you can see, spam call, all you can see is what is going wrong. To shift this energy, look at the evidence of what you do have, even if it's a very small or seemingly insignificant, and express your gratitude for the blessings in life. Over time, the positive aspects will continue to grow, and soon, lack and not having will be a thing of the past. So we talked about the uh, t- uh, Nine of Swords and me getting sick because I'm pissed off at horrible, horrible people. I've been focusing on lack. I'm guilty of this, man. I am a human being. I am a human being just like you guys. And I've been focusing on lack because I've been pissed off. And I know this. And so one of the things I'm working on doing is making sure I'm focusing on my community and people who like me and want to be around me and want to learn from me and stuff like that. And that's where I'm trying to put my focus. But I think when you're trying to start a side hustle or finding your purpose, you have to do the same thing because it is extremely easy to focus on all of the problems that you have, on everything that could go wrong, on things that don't work out. But the more you focus on things that don't work out, the less you're going to see that the church is literally right there and you can literally go inside it. I might be pissed at people who are untrustworthy and disingenuous assholes. But if I'm only focusing on the untrustworthy and disingenuous assholes, I'm existing here out in the snow and I might not even see that I'm walking by the church. I might not even see that I have this amazing community on locals with people who like me that I do have so many people who support me. Why sh- Why would I want to focus on people who hate me when I could be focusing on people who love me? And the same is true when you're building a business. Why would you want to focus in on all the people who tell you, no, it won't work. You'll never be successful. That's so stupid. Why would you do that? Instead, focus in on the people who are like, that's really cool. And how can I help you out? Or I want to support you. I want to help you. I want to connect you with clients. You are the only one, you are the only one who can control where you put your energy and attention. And I know sometimes it's, it's, it's human nature to focus on the bad, but we all have to be our own best coach in this respect. What Joshua says is he's like, do not allow yourself the luxury of a negative thought. He had, Joshua gave me a stern talking to yesterday. He was like, Carlin, this is enough. Do not allow yourself the luxury of a negative thought. You do not have that luxury anymore. This is why I pay him to stick around. So don't allow yourself that. Just if you find yourself going down that road, if you're trying to launch your business, just go, no. I have everything I need. Everything that you have ever done in your life has given you the knowledge that you need to be successful in starting your side hustle or in finding your purpose or in doing your thing. Every single thing you have ever done has given you that knowledge. When I first started my business, listen, my career has been weird, right? Because I did marketing for a long time. I did marketing in colleges. I even like back in the day when I was like 16, I learned how to build websites. Do you know what I was doing today? What I spent a lot of my day doing was finishing up my website for my book. I'm literally building a flipping website right now, a skill that I learned when I was 16 years old and I've kind of come up with, even though like like most people who write books don't know how to build websites. Most people who write books and do this sort of stuff, they don't have any marketing background. I know how to build websites. I know how to do marketing. I understand psychology. I understand design. I can make things look pretty. All of those things led me and they're contributing to me being successful in what I'm doing now. What skill sets do you have that you have developed over the course of your life that you can utilize to help you be successful in what you want to do? Make a list. Actually make a physical list of the skills that you can bring to the table because you probably have so much that you can that you can do to help set yourself up for success. Don't leave a single thing off. 
you know, take advantage of every gift that you have been given in your life to help you succeed in whatever you want to do. That's why we live life to begin with. Life is about experience. It's about making sure that we can be successful in doing things that make us happy. Michael says, Carlin, be like a proper football soccer commentator on UBI. Nice idea. Shame about the execution. I would have to have an accent if I did that. Hope COVID didn't hit too hard. It's okay, man. It's just a cold. I'm going to be fine. I'm still kicking. Tiggs, thank you for becoming a member on the channel. I appreciate it. Let's, uh, let's finish this up. Similarly, the Five of Pentacles suggests that you fear you don't have enough or you may lose something important to you, even if it hasn't happened yet or it is unlikely. Oh, so this is also a card about fear then, which is important. Let's talk about that in a sec. For example, you may live in fear that you will lose your job and you will be left in the streets with no home or support. If you stay focused on all the negative things that might happen, then be careful because your manifesting powers may start to create the outcomes that you don't want. Instead, redirect your attention to what you have now and what you want in the future so your manifesting powers are used for good. So this is important because when you're starting a side hustle, again, you don't want to make the assumption that your side hustle is going to manifest into a full business overnight. I think for mine, I didn't go full time with my business until like four or five years into it. So I was making money, but I wasn't making enough for it to be a full time job. Now, when I when I got fired from the public radio station, and I've told this story before, I orchestrated my own firing from a public radio station because I was miserable, and I promised my husband I wouldn't quit. If you go back and look at my 100,000 subscriber stream, I tell the full story. It's a great fucking story. It's a really good story. But, um, but I orchestrated my own firing, um, and I did that knowing that I wasn't going to get an, a new job. I did that knowing that I was going to go full time with my business. And I had, I had been working for months to build my business up to the capacity in which I knew I would make enough to survive. And that's an important thing you need to consider when you're doing a side hustle, because, um, you need to kind of figure out what, um, how much money do I need coming in on a monthly basis to survive? How many, how much business do I need to have booked in order to like meet my basic needs? You need to do some math, pull out a calculator, do some math. I, I had done that. I create a plan. But the minute I got fired from that job and I came home, I came home, Victor was in the kitchen. I walked in. I said, Victor, I have some news. Some might consider this to be a bad thing. I do not. I've been fired from my job. And I'm not going to get another job and I'm going to do my business full time. And that's just going to be what it is. And my husband, because he's the best guy in the world, said, OK, we're going to make it work. And I remember saying to him that night, we were sitting on the couch and I said, you know, I know that every single person who has embarked on a side hustle it, or has bar embarked on a business has been afraid. Every single person who ever found themselves in that position of, creating their own business has been afraid that it wouldn't work and use that to, to if you feel afraid you're like i don't know if this is going to work i don't know if i can pull it off congratulations you are like every single person who has been down that road before you know that lean into it if you're afr being afraid is not the reason not to do something it's just an acknowledgement that you're a human being and you might have doubts about yourself, and that's okay. But, the, but make sure you're doing everything you can to focus on what you want, to focus on your goals, to focus on what you need to do to be successful, to focus on the outcomes that you desire. Because if you're focused on all the things that could cause you to fail, you make them more likely to happen. And then you're going to be on the snow like these guys. And we don't want to be on the snow. We want to be in the church. We want to be in the church where it's warm and we have a cup of coffee and we feel good. And we've got a nice warm blanket, not walking through the snow. But no one can do that for you. If you have a bad attitude and you're not focused on the right things and you're focusing on every single thing that could go wrong and every single person that did you dirty and all these things. No one can change your mindset except you. You have to have the will to succeed. 
that is greater than your than your inclination to be afraid. Whatever you want more will happen. If you want to be afraid more than you want to be successful, then you're probably not going to be successful because your willpower is focused on being afraid. But if you want to be successful more than you want to be afraid, then you're going to have a much greater likelihood of being successful. I, I was paid for a story I submitted first time ever. Oh, congratulations. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. You got paid for a story you submitted. How amazing is that? You know what you should do? You should frame that check. Frame that check. Put it on the wall. So guys, that's my thoughts about finding your purpose or your passion and creating a side hustle out of it is that you need to just figure out what you're, what makes you happy. You need to figure out what makes you feel good. Figure out a way to monetize that thing and then just go for it. Then just go for it. But just start with baby steps. Just take one small step at a time. And then once you got that master, take another step. And then when you got that master, take another step and just start to build systems and processes that can help you make more money and bring in more clients and serve more people. And if you focus on the service, what you're giving to the world, if you focus on the service aspect of it, you're going to be in a much better place. So those are my thoughts there. I hope that's helpful. I am happy to answer any questions that you guys might have if, if you join my locals. Now, locals, again, you get the special deal because that's the one I'm looking for. Hang on. Because I am still sick. I am still symptomatic for COVID, which means this promo code is good for one more day. But it might not be good tomorrow, okay? Because if I wake up healthy tomorrow and feeling good, the promo code's going to go away. So if you've been thinking about joining my locals, now is the very best time to do it. You can get a free month by going to kb.locals.com and using the promo code COVID. You can see it's only for the monthly option. The link that's pinned to the top of YouTube should be able to take you there. But if not, just put COVID in. You're going to get a free month. And when you get a free month in locals, you're going to be able to join our community Zoom calls. You can join us tomorrow at noon. You can join us on Monday at 7. You can post in the community. You can take advantage, all that good stuff. But the most important thing is just to join, just to get started. You're going to meet some of the best people in the world. My local, we, we help each other out all the time. Guys, we've helped each other out reviewing each other's resumes. We've helped each other out on salary negotiations. We've helped each other out with helpful sage advice, just like we talked about today. And it doesn't just come from me. It comes from all the other members and locals which is the best. Oh, Tiggs. Oh, no. Tiggs said I used the code and it charged me. Well, I appreciate that. Now, what might have happened is so you have to make sure you have to make sure the code actually goes through. So some people, they just they put the code in and then they click give monthly. So you got to make sure you plot you apply it and you get this little message that comes up. So I apologize that it charged you, but it's only five bucks. It's not going to break the bank or anything. Breaking the flaw said, I was just at the state house live streaming. Did anything interesting happen at the state house? Is there anything going on today? I don't know. But guys, I'm greatly looking forward to meeting some of you in my locals community. Uh, and I hope I'll be able to have a chat with you tomorrow at noon. Now, as a reminder, we got a couple more live streams coming up today, tonight, not coming up today, but tonight at, uh, at 930, we have Joshua and I will be back. In about three hours, we have a three-hour break. I've got three hours to finish this flipping website that I've been working on. Three-hour break, and then we're coming back. We're going to do news and psychics. Guys, if you have a question that you would like to uh, Joshua to psychic, make sure you comment on the post in Locals. Joshua is going to pick one question at random that comes from Locals, because we've got just super chats, time is money. But we're going to pick one question at random from Locals based on the post that I posted earlier today. And we're going to, Joshua's going to psychic your question. You don't even have to do a super chat. So make sure you post there. And then, of course, I will be back tomorrow. Bing, there we go. For my regular live at five stream. I don't know what I'll be talking about tomorrow because tomorrow hasn't happened yet. 
But if you check back in in the early afternoon, I will be updating the image that's on the, the stream so you can see what we're going to be talking about. Um, and I'm going to be streaming every day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday on this channel. And then on Fridays, we go over to my second channel at 5 p.m. for a happy hour, which my second channel is actively unwoke. You can find it in the description below. Guys, that's all I have for today. I'm about to lose my voice. So I got to go get a cup of tea. I got to regain it because we got some psychic ink to do in about three hours. So I will see you guys then. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see some of you at 930 tonight for nothing remotely controversial. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.